Hilton Head High off to a hot 2-0 start with wins over Ridgeland, Hardyville, and Whale Branch, but this Friday the Seahawks step up in class, hosting West Ashley at the Nest. Hilton Head Prep heads to Charleston to play Northwood Academy after losing their opener to Bethesda Academy in Savannah. Hilton Head Christian dropped its opener as well. They're headed to Savannah to play Bible Baptist this week. Mike Covert talks to the new Eagles coach about his 2015 squad. And we're here with Hilton Head Christian Academy's uh, new head coach, Matt Smith. Welcome, coach. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about uh, about you before we get to the program. Uh, you're new here uh, first year, but you're not new here. No, it's my second time at Hilton Head Christian. Um, I started back in the mid-2000s with Tommy Lewis. Um, I was his defensive coordinator. Then I went over to Savannah and was the head coach at Bible Baptist before moving to California and then back down with Tommy um, in Florida before coming back up here. So kind of traveled around a little bit. Any big changes in store with you coming over here? Are you revamping the uh, the offense over at Christian? Yeah, I've been a defensive coach for quite a while, um, but I hired Ron Paduzzi, who was at Hilton Head Prep, to be my defensive coordinator. So I moved over to offense, and um, you know we'll, we'll probably run the b ball a little bit more than – in the past, but you know we'll we'll try to be balanced the best we can and and go from there. To have that balanced attack, you're going to have to have some good names both on the on the line and, and in the backfield. Can you tell us about who's uh, who's out there this year? Um, probably we're going to have Andy Ballard at, at quarterback. Um, he's a big, strong kid. Probably looks to to be a runner slash thrower. We'll have um, some running backs with. Chandler Edmonds and Zachariah Doe and uh, James Bartholomew, Benville Jack, and then we've got some guys we can throw it to, um, like Jamarian Clark and R.J. Bartolomucci and Joey Lankowski. So um, we got a lot of speed on the perimeter, and we'll be looking to ball to get the ball to those guys. All right, Coach, well, welcome back here to Hilton Head. Welcome back to Skisa, and we'll be right back. Marcus Walsh here with the quarterback of Hilton Head Christian Academy, Andy Ballard. Andy, what are some keys that you're looking forward to as the starting quarterback and one of your team's leaders this season? Um, well, the biggest thing this year is uh, getting getting the playmakers the ball. Uh, we got lots of guys on the outside with uh, good speed. Um, so if we just get them the ball in open space, uh, we'll be looking pretty good this year. How is your game compared to some of the other quarterbacks in the uh, in the Low Country? You feel? Um, well, still still working pro process as of now. Um, but obviously, uh, the pass isn't there. I'm going to be running a lot. Um, so that, that's another dimension that I feel like I bring to the table that will help the team win. We're back here with Jake Heller, corner, cornerback and quarterback of Hilton Head Christian Academy. Jake, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good, thanks. What are some keys that you're looking forward to working on this year, both on the offensive and defensive side of the ball? I mean, we have a lot of young, young athletes and uh, – I'm just wondering how they will do stepping up to the table. And with that, we should be pretty solid for the next few years. What are some personal keys for you on, on both sides? Um, just staying confident and uh, knowing my responsibilities. Thanks, Jake. Thank you.